before we actually start um, after we have copied this um, certificate we need to set up some parts in the code as well first we need to set up the, the current version that will run on the ESP32 and it's an integer number currently it's set to 1 uh, then we need to define um, our SSID name so basically this SSID of our Wi-Fi network and the password that is required to connect to that network um, actually I have copied this line twice so I'm gonna actually delete it uh, here this is the unique identifier of this type of device that um, will be used to identify what firmware it's going to download so basically all of your devices that have this ID uh, will download the same firmware. Uh, the next thing that you need to set up is the location, the host name of where your firmware will be located and then uh, the path to the firmware JSON file which basically specifies your um, name of your, your unique iName of your devices or your device since currently I'm using only one device and it's a lab for IoT uh, underscore device C the version uh, the new version that we will gonna that we will download the site the port number and the firmware ver firmware binary file uh, basically the microcontroller will check this JSON file and see if it is already running the most recent version or uh, if there's a newer version on the server since this is set up set up for the update I will leave it as it is with the version number two I'll go back to the my my source file and I will um, set it up this to version one as it is I will uh, compile this and upload it to the microcontroller by pressing this um, tiny arrow here uh, it's been compiled and uploaded oh, it's, it's, it's still compiling now it's uh, uploading it takes some time uh, you can't see it but I see with uh, green text color written on the LCD version 1 on my ESP32 then the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this to let's say uh, I have updated the software and this is the newer version and this will be incremented by one number higher and in this case it's two and also to 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 make it distinguishable I will change the color of the text to blue this time I won't upload it to my microcontroller but I will just compile it and it's being built successfully as you can see and it's in the same folder where this project is just under um, this pad here and uh, now you what you have to do is you have to upload this firmware binary file to the server and I will do it um, it asks you to overwrite everything since I had earlier the, the version and also what you need to upload is this um, JSON file which I already did earlier and this is it this concludes the demo thank you